work for it I'm on my shit And when I'm walking by I know the truth is He wanna know what's up youtube it's michael and welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a voiceover because yeah <laughs> but i'm gonna be dyeing this wig blue this wig is from Eunice hair it's 613 22 inches i believe yeah um i'm doing a watercolor method i'm using a door hair dye i'm using the color aquamarine and i was going for like a teal not a teal but like like an aquamarine color you know like a blue yeah what i got was what i wanted so um i got like hot 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 water you do not need hot water like the water that i used was actually a little bit too hot because i couldn't even take the wig out of the water without burning my hands so you can just use hot water from you know your shower your sink whatever you don't need to boil the water because I'd even do that and it was still too hot so yeah but I'm just gonna be mixing this in make sure that when you're doing this that everything is mixed like don't leave no like particles of the hair dye because you will leave you will get patches in your wigs so here I actually did not mean to do this I put the top of my wig first when I dipped it in the water and I actually wanted to dip the bottom in I don't know why I did that so if you're ever doing the watercolor method I actually suggest you dip the bottom in first because you know the top is where your head is at that's where the first thing you're gonna see but luckily it didn't look bad so yeah but i'm just mixing it and um i didn't get the exact color that i wanted the first time because you know like it was still like blonde parts in the wig as you guys can see so i actually put a towel underneath the water because i realized that it was gonna make a mess but yeah i took the wig out and i added more hair dye to make the the blonde parts like blue you know i didn't want any blonde parts you know it was okay if it was like a light blue but it was still blonde so i was like you know what this is not gonna work let me redo this again and i always do that i always do it multiple times because i rather it be too light and i have to redo it again than it be too dark and i can't do anything about that so yeah that's a tip so I basically just kept adding hair dye and like dipping the wig until I got the color that I was satisfied with, which was basically the color that it is just with all the blonde parts blue. So yeah, I just kept doing that like a couple of times, like probably like three times I'm going to say. Yeah, like three times. And after like three times, it was perfectly fine. But like every time I dipped the wig in the water, I just like try to open the wig up to see if there's any blonde parts left. And if it was good, you know how I liked it. I just left it, but you know, obviously like it was lighter in the middle. So I left it open. And when I put the hair dye in, when I dipped the wig and I, I dipped it in like as if it was already open instead of it being closed. That's why the water, I mean the dye wasn't getting in the middle of the wig. So yeah, I'm going to continue to do that. And then after I finished doing that, I just left the, the wig in the water for like two minutes and I, I went off camera I just left it in for two minutes because I just wanted to soak up all the hair dye so after I let it sit for like about two minutes I took the hair out and I actually washed it off camera with like hair I mean shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that I use like neutralizing shampoo just so the dye wouldn't bleed when I wash it again or whatever and this is how it looks after I washed it I'm just brushing the hair this is this color is so pretty like I've been wanting to do blue for so long and I was like yes like this aquamarine is doing it for me <laughs> but yeah so I already plucked the wig wait did I pluck the wig no I plucked it after this but I didn't film that so yeah I plucked the wig after this is how it looks after it was dry. I didn't blow dry it. I actually dyed the hair like two or three days before I started like straightening it and um, styling it and installing it. So yeah, it took like two days for it to dry because I didn't use a blow dryer. This is just an air dry. But right here, I'm just using my bio silk and I'm using a heat protective spray. I think that's by, I'm not even sure. But yeah, so I'm just straightening it right now. While I was straightening the wig, I thought that I was actually going to curl it after I straightened it. So that's why I didn't really like go through like each um, hair strand like a lot of times. But I didn't even end up curling the wig, so I just left it straight. If I would have known that I was gonna leave it straight, I would have actually like straightened it like really, really, really good. But it was whatever. It was still, you know, it was still doable, it was still manageable. So I just left it. This is just me straightening it. If you're ever straightening your hair, a tip that I have is always do the chase method. Like do the comb and then the, the straightener, the flat iron, whatever after, because it's gonna give you like a 10 times more silkier look. Like without the comb, I swear, like straightening it is just not not the same like you have to use the comb i don't know why i never did this before like I've, I've been doing this for a while but like growing up when i was little i never used to do this and i don't know like youtube really just be saving everybody's life like yes come through youtube
So now I'm just doing the ball cap method. I glued the um the ball cap with got to be free spray and I put makeup on. Now I'm cutting it off with a pair of hair scissors. This is just like I do this on my video, so I don't really need to go into too much detail about that. Basically, what I did with this is um I cut off all the excess lace. I mean, well, not the lace, the cap, and I f like put free spray and I put a hair dryer on like you know after I started cutting it because you know it starts to be lifting up sometimes. So yeah, but yeah, I was just doing that. Da -da 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 -da. So here I'm putting the wig on and baby, she is so pretty. Like I love this color. And I actually wanted to leave this wig in for like, not just, you know, like two, three days how I normally be doing my wigs. I wanted to leave it in for like a good week. So I was just like, you know what? Let me use some ghost bomb because I always use free spray and do like glueless installs. But I actually like this hairstyle a lot to the point where I was like, let me keep it in for longer than a week. So yeah, I was just clipping the hair back and like putting um mousse like on the edges because i didn't want no hairs to get in my way while i was trying to install this wig and i always do that i hate that so i just be like trying to put everything back out of my face so yeah here i'm just adding the glue um i added like two layers of glue and then i spread out evenly and then i put the blow dry you know so it could dry clear um i cut the lace into like sections this is my first time doing like this many sections i don't know why i did all of that but yeah it was i don't know it was like the same how I always do it. It wasn't nothing special. So if you look into trying to method with the flaps or whatever, it's really like the amount of flaps don't really make a difference to me personally. So yeah, I was just doing um like two flaps at a time. That's why I say like I don't know why I made it flaps because I was literally doing two flaps at a time. So yeah, this is me applying the glue. This glue took forever to dry, and I don't know why. I was low key struggling, not struggling, but like it was just taking too long. I was getting tired. I was like, you know what? Let me get this blow dryer. Can this dry faster? Because I hate when people put down their lace before the glue is clear. Like, what are you doing? It's still white. I can see your glue. Don't do that. So after I finished this side, I went ahead and like glued down the other side on my other side of my head. Um, yeah, I did that off camera and there was no need to do that. It was mad repetitive. So now I'm just going to be cutting the lace off. I use an eyebrow razor for this wig because honestly, I never like noticed the difference between a scissor and an eyebrow razor. But when I was doing this, I was like, yo, this looks so much better because it's not like a straight cut. Even though I don't even be cutting it straight. It still, it doesn't give you the look of like a jagged edge the way the eyebrow razor does. It's so much better. And I don't know why I never realized that because I've done both before. But I don't know. I'm just going to continue to use the razor because scissors, like, you can use the scissors to clean up the places that you can't get with the eyebrow razor. But to do the whole thing with the scissors, it's like, no, just, just do that to clean it up. And what I'm doing here, I was using like the free spray to like glue down any parts that I missed with the ghost bond and i didn't feel like going back in with ghost bonds and mm, it was just too much so i was just spraying the whole entire hairline with free spray to make sure the whole thing was secured and yeah so now what i'm doing here is basically taking alcohol and going around my whole entire hairline to clean up all the glue that you know was just left on my forehead because if you leave that glue there it will get dirty and it will not look good so yeah don't do that and i'm just gonna do two edges i'm not doing baby hairs like that was just it was too much like i only did two swoops i was not gonna do a lot this was just really simple really calm just two boom boom done
So now what I'm doing here is I'm making sure my middle part is, you know, perfect, even though it still wasn't perfect. I don't know why, <laughs> but I was making sure that it was good. So, you know, when I hot comb it, it's going to the side that it needs to be on, you know? Yeah. And then I just took a, a hair wrap thing. I don't know what these are called. Like, yeah, I don't know. But I took that, put it around my edges so, you know, it could like lay down flat, hot combed it. Cause I, I hate a bulky wig. Like I just can't. That's why I invested into this. What is this called? Um, she is bomb hair wax stick. Ever since I bought that, oh my gosh, it makes my wigs look so much better with a hot comb. Girl, you is set. Those two things, like, baby. Then I use this orange scarf to put on my wig because I want it to be like extra, extra, extra flat. So yeah, I left that on for like 10, 15 minutes. Cut the um the wrap off, and baby, she was done. That was that. She is late. I mean, oh, I forgot. I'm bugging. Then I put some concealer on because I learned this tip from Aaliyah J. She put concealer like on her parts. I mean, I feel like everybody knows that, but like with color wigs, it's really important to do with color wigs. So it's not like, girl, what is on your head? Because <laughs> it's like, girl, this is my scalp, okay? It's not my scalp, but it is. So, all right. So yeah, just make sure a colored hair, make sure you do concealer or something, powder, whatever. But yeah, I was feeling myself with this wig, like, baby, this blue aquamarine listen but thank you so much Eunice wig for sending me this hair everything for this hair will be linked down in the description box because baby this wig this was such a good 613 hair like I love this wig so much like oh, so beautiful but thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys make sure you like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye